come in. Please. Welcome to Mountain Movement. I'm Max and this mug is just weirdly ironic. Today we're gonna to be giving you a shop tour. I think we have some viewers from out of town. That's what we've been getting calls for. So uh, just give a little sneak peek at the shop and if anybody comes in here and gets confused on where stuff is and just to get a cool sneak peek and everything. So, <sighs> okay, well we'll start. This is our Yeti SB150 sitting on this nice feature. This is something you'd find on the North Shore. But we're not on the North Shore, people. Calm down. It's just a really sick feature. My carpenter built it. Shout out Mike. He's pretty sick with that stuff. So it's just to mimic the outdoors and uh, mountain biking because I think we do that here. I'm not exactly sure. One way to find out with a shop tour. We have our Christmas trees up. Shout out Christmas. And then we've got our new bike rack. This is our nine bike rack. And Transition's come in clutch this week. Sent us some new bikes for the new year. Um, we will be stocking those up heavily. Uh, super dope. We also have a demo, so come check that out. Strolling over this side. We've got our Transition Sentinel on our uh, centerpiece stand. Um, that's so when you come in, you're like shock and awed by the dopest bike that you'll see. Um, we uh, cycle these bikes out uh, pretty frequently, mostly because they get sold, so we have to replace it with something else. So then we've got our Yeti SB140 on a matching skinny. Uh, that bike's super sick. Uh, you better grab it before it gets gone. Uh, and then we've got our Fox knee pad, uh, elbow pad, uh, sock, and backpack display. So anything Fox, if you want anything kind of like cool knickknack protection stuff. Uh, it'll be on that rack. Starting our apparel racks is the women's rack. So we uh, are a little low right now. It's been kind of rated, uh, but we're hoping to get some more winter stuff in in, uh, in the winter. So Then over here, we've got our Fox clothing uh, with a little bit of our Yeti. Uh, this is the 2020 Yeti stuff, so uh, we don't have too much left because um, we will be transitioning into our 2021. Uh, model year clothes. It sounds so weird, but hey, bike industry. Uh, next, we've got our kind of cold gear. Right now, it's all title stuff. Uh, and then we've also got some like uh, butt pads or jammy. We're going to call them butt pads. I, I, I like butt pads better. Uh, and then we've got some Fox riding pants and then title sweatshirts, title hoodies, and title windbreaker. Windbreaker, rain poncho thing. Wow, this is cool, guys. Wow, that logo is just really nice. Hmm, hmm. Uh, we've got our Troy Lee stuff, um, and we have the most of uh, winter stuff in Troy Lee. Um, we've got maybe the coolest jerseys you'll see in the, on this side of the Mississippi. Actually, on the other side of the Mississippi, too. Yeah, it, just across the country. Other mountain movement things, but then we've also got a little bit of other brands scattered through here. So we've got some Club Ride. Uh, and some race face and then a transition flannel. We had a bunch, but a bunch of people like that flannel, so you might be able to match with somebody out on the trail. Uh, then we've got our race face shorts and Troy Lee shorts. They're going fast, so grab them while they're hot, people, or cold. Winter time, winter time. Uh, and then we've got our Mountain Movement t-shirts. So these are all one-off t-shirts. I, I, I think we've mentioned that before, maybe on an Instagram post, but uh, we certainly tell them in the shop. So when these t-shirts go, like when all the sizes are gone, uh, we will never make those t-shirts again, so it kind of keeps it fresh. You always have a limited edition t-shirt, which is uh, pretty unique. Fox hat rack. You need a hat to keep the sign out of your eyes. That's just a proven fact. Uh, and then we're going to transition back. Transition, see what I did there? See, we saw them. We've got our the rest of our Mountain Movement um, long sleeve jerseys. We have them in green. And then we've got some just of our uh, brands in t-shirt uh, form, not riding shirts, even though I wear a t-shirt most of the time to ride in because I'm just sick like that, you know? Uh, yeah, this is our front desk. Another kind of custom project, but we've got gift cards up here, people. Those have been going off the wall. And then we've got our computer, MacBook, shout out Apple. We're not sponsored though. <laughs> then we've got some just little knickknack stuff. We've got some uh, CO2, some tire levers, some hand sanitizers, not shout out COVID. I had some sealant, just some little stuff of it. And we've also got our brand new Mountain Movement stickers. They're all white. They're in that cool sticker that you kind of, um, like peel off and then it peels on and sticks. I don't know, I'm not a sticker guy, just a bike guy. So I'm gonna set down my mug that is just weirdly tied to me. Hmm. 
Not saying anything, but I'm saying stuff. And then this is kind of our bike rack right now. Um, we are low on bikes. We've had a great season. Thank you, everyone. In the meantime, uh, we're just gonna kind of show off some of our custom builds that are still in the shop and then some of our demos. So we've got Brady's bike, not that cool. Uh, we've got the SB115 demo favorite bike. Everybody loves it. We have a ton coming. I think we have one coming today. We've got our e-bike here. That's for demo and for sale. We've got my bike. Coolest bike on the planet. Uh, and then we've got our brand new Revel demo that I'm going to wheel out and give a kind of a quick speech about. This is the Revel Rail. So 27.5, 165, 170. Sick bike. Everybody loves this bike. Uh, we got it in, I think, a week ago. We've taken it to some cool places, had some other people take it. Uh, it comes with the Revel RW30 carbon wheels. So this thing is built for awesome. Uh, it's also got some Trubative Descent uh, cranks, which are sick. Lyrica front, Super Deluxe in the rear, carbon handlebars, and uh, the RockShock Reverb dropper post. So. Uh, just a super sick build. Gotta come check it out because if you haven't tried a Rebel, you need to. They're awesome. And that has my seal of approval. Kuat Rack, Rack. <laughs> <laughs> NV2 bases. We also have the four rack extension for these so you can get four bikes if you're a family. They're in the stealth black which looks super sick. It matches with every car uh, unless your car's like, I can't even think of color. Maybe if it's like, nah, I want to say like maybe it's like powder coated like yellow but I mean if you have a yellow powder coated Camry you you got know. bigger problems than yeah, a bike Yeah, you got rack. bigger problems. Like, maybe how do you get this paint off? Our truck bed. Don't ask how it got in here. It just kind of appeared. I think we moved in. The truck bed was just sitting in here. Had it fabricated. Ace Fabrication, if you need anything fabricated. I don't know if I'm able to shout them out. He's a good dude. Chris over there, he did a great job with this. And we stickered it with every sticker on the planet. And we've got all of our demo. We've got some of our demos. We have the SP-115 up there. So it's featuring the patrol. Uh, it's starring the Scout and then the supporting cast of the SB-130 and SB-140 and they really make the show if you know what I mean. Um, so it's just a really nice TV show over there. I just rolled with that metaphor. Over on this rack that has nothing on it, that's where we put the rest of our tailgate pads but we are currently out of stock. Uh, we are running out of parts. We had stuff, you guys liked it, that's awesome. But we always are restocking as soon as we can. We have all kinds of crazy cool knickknacks that uh, make your bike real custom to you and that's what we like. Gotta close this door for employees only. You guys will never see that. Then we've got our handlebar wall, some highlighted handlebars that I'd like to show everybody. Brett Reeder, look him up if you don't know him. He makes a sick product and that product is Tidal. I think this is probably one of the last things we have, a couple handlebars and a uh, seat post. Um, that's all we got from them left. We had a bunch of stuff and it's been ransacked. It's a sick products. Just super sick. Like, really riding the gnar on that stuff. Then we've got our wall of shame right here. Um, that's just some stuff we've accumulated that people have like, yeah, you can keep that. I don't want my busted rim or my derailleur that's broken. Bo, if he watches this. We gotta go back, gotta rewind. This is our glove rack. Yeah, we've got some sick gloves right here. Like these muck off gloves are sick. Shout out muck off. We are sponsored by muck off. So, hey, maybe those shout outs work. The Fox and Troy Lee personal favorites. I really like these uh, Fox and Troy Lee ones that have the D3O knuckles. Uh, because for some reason, I just always slam my knuckles on trees. I guess it's just maybe I'm flirting with disaster. Michaela's favorite gloves. That's the lady behind the camera who I need to figure out how to work a camera. So she can be <laughs> on it. She really likes the Rangers. And then Brady, of course, he likes Troy Lee. You know, he's a Troy Lee guy. This is the desk of Brady. Just got some of his inner workings on it. Like he's lacing a wheel right now. Um, it's got a cool sign above it. In case you didn't uh, know what this is, this is a service area. This will be our frame wall. So right now we've pretty much sold all the frames that we're doing for custom builds. We've done a few that we haven't videotaped. Those are the ones we have left for sale. Um, everything else is in queue to be built. This is our six sunglass rack. Our favorite sunglasses are gonna be the 100%. Uh, they're super awesome. We've got the goggles, which are sweet, especially in winter riding, because I don't know if you guys have been riding lately, but when it gets cold, like it looks like I've just watched like Marley and me and like really crying out on the trails. People are like, are you okay, man? I'm like, I don't know, yeah, no, it's just, it's cold. Park tool, 
you've been watching Tech Tuesdays and you need some tools because you want to try it yourself, this is our helmets. We're running very low on sizes of helmets. Grab them while you can, so if you're wanting a certain color, come and check it out, see if we still have your size. Some of the most popular that we've been selling are gonna be the uh, Fox Drop Frames, and that's to give you some side protection so you don't bust the side of your noggin. Still super breathable, still super light, not quite a full face yet. Fidlock magnetic system. If you haven't tried that, you'll never want to go back to that old clip-in, clippy thingy. I don't know what that's called. Not fit lock. Probably our most popular uh, helmet to date is going to be the Stage. It's just a insanely great full face. It's light. It's not DH rated. There's nothing DH needed to be DH. D Nothing that needs to be <laughs> DH rated in in Springfield. Um, you can probably get some around in Bentonville, but this will definitely cover your buns. But we will have some DH rated helmets coming in uh, in February. Another great helmet is going to be the A2 uh, and then the uh, Pro Frame. We got some Christmas decorations. Shout out, Mom. Uh, first, PB and J. Um, so this is the frame. Uh, you might see stuff that I would put on this bike, and that you might see me riding it because this is my frame. We are going to start getting into the dirt jumper game um, and stay tuned for that because we're going to do a lot of cool stuff on that side of mountain biking, which I'm going to consider it mountain biking because it's definitely a discipline. Very low stock, but we are restocking soon. Shoes. Two brands, Ride Concept and 510. I ride Ride Concepts. I, uh, in my opinion, there is no shoe that is even close to touching how good Ride Concepts are. Um, they just do so much technology in them. They care so much about shoes and your feet. 510, of course, I'm sure you guys have heard of them. Big brand, owned by Adidas. They make a great shoe. Can't be happy enough with them. And we will have some of the new 2021 shoes coming out. So some stuff you guys don't even know about. Ooh, fancy. We've also got some stumps for you guys to sit and try shoes on. Stumpies. They're almost out of stock too. They're, yeah, we're, we're running out of those. I mean, just like, can we get another stump? No, we don't have any more. Uh, and then is our Crank Brothers Tool Center. So this is gonna give kind of like Crank Brothers always makes like similar to one up some uh, kind of like knickknack, knack whack, give a dog a bone tools. Some of the favorites are going to be the F10 multi tools. Super small, but they literally pack as much they, as they can in there. I have an F15. Uh, we will have F15s. They are just out of stock. <laughs> You're probably like, tired of hearing me say that, but as you know, stuff is hard to get at these times, especially during Christmas. You can throw them in anything. I put mine on my little bag on my bike, and if you haven't seen that, check out my bike breakdown right here. Our uh, sock wall. Socks are great. You probably should wear them if you're mountain biking. If you're not, I do not want to smell your shoes. Uh, and then we have some Crank Brothers pumps. Um, so this is just going to be like your standard floor pump. This one. So this is the uh, Crank Brothers Click floor pump with the CO2 added. So you just pull out the little gauge, click that in, pump, 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 and then. <laughs> then you just put that back and it tucks away. This is a sick, sick floor pump. Suggest it. Muck off. Gotta plug it in. <laughs> We've got uh, all kinds of products thrown on it. We've got some of the cleaning products. We've got some chain lube. We've got some hand sanitizer. Not shout out COVID. We've got some sealant. We've got a big thing of sealant. Uh, and then we've got some more cleaner and then some stickers. So all of that's super awesome. Uh, feel free to come by, ask some questions about it because their products are sick. If you have never cleaned your bike or if you always take it somewhere to clean your bike, um, we use Muck Off. It's the best cleaner. You will never find us not using it. It's so great cleaning your bike. They come out brand new. It's like, whoa, did I just buy this bike? It's like, no, you did 15 years ago. You should probably buy a new one now. <laughs> <I'm not moving. laughs> uh, coming over here, we've got Kushkor and Tannis. If you don't know, come in. I can talk to it. Talk to you about it for like 15 minutes uh, at least on like what the differences are. Uh, but basically, Kushkor is a Kushkor is a foam insert that wraps your rim and protects it from damage, stiffens up your sidewall, and you can run a lower PSI. Tannis, similar product, except you've got air in between uh, your rim and your tire uh, instead of just wrapping around your rim. Um, also thick, also great product. I've ran Kushcore front and rear a long time. Switching over to Tannis uh, to get more hours on it. Love Tannis. They also have uh, the ability to run it with tubes. Uh, we've got our wheel 
wall. Um, some laced, some that are carbon, that are ready to be laced whenever you guys are ready to try out. Some RW30s from Revel. Cool thing with these, if you ever do break them, which if you do, I'm gonna be like, what did you jump off like a 30 foot cliff and just like, <laughs> it was fucked flat. They will recycle it and give you like something cool out of it, like some carbon tire levers. Um, it's probably one of the coolest things they do. And then we've got an Industry 9 rear wheel. Uh, we did have more, we're out. Um, Guys, gotta check our Instagram and YouTube, or Instagram and, <laughs> this is YouTube, Instagram and Facebook, um, because they go fast. Whenever we get it thrown up, um, it's usually gone, and very quickly. We got some Crank Brothers Synthesis wheels. That's sick new technology, check it out. They did a lot of stuff to revise uh, the synthesis, and now it is just a awesome wheel. Uh, very, very popular. Everybody we've put the wheel on has been like, what? That's cool. And we've got some air supply ramps. So these are made by a guy in Lebanon, Justin Huff. Shout out Justin. Uh, these ramps are sick. Every time we get one in, they're always gone in the matter of like a week, maybe two, if uh, whoever's looking for is lucky. And they're super, super fun. They fold up into like this kind of like backpack thing and they fold out into this awesome ramp. Uh, it's got adjustable stuff so you can raise and lower it. So you can also change uh, off camber jumps. It's the right terminology. And then we've got the bike tree house. Uh, this is supposed to be full with bikes, but they just keep getting sold. Um, so we got a few Fujis left. These have actually just been sold, uh, but we did just get a Fuji that was supposed to be in our fall order that just rolled in uh, yesterday. So we put this up and through it. It's a large. I know a lot of you have been asking um, when we'll have more in. We have one. Probably the last stop on our tour, which did I go too fast? Because I'm. Kinda of sad. It's not even cold and I'm not riding. I don't need goggles. I'm just actually crying. Of course, Maxxis, uh, biggest name in, in mountain bike tire brand. Awesome, awesome tires. Can't be happy enough with them. We've got a pretty good application. Just keep running out of them. Can't keep them in stock. Uh, something that um, we just got in from them that uh, is perfect for winter riding is the Shorty. Um, it's it's a crazy tire. So. Uh, it's great for wet riding and especially in the mud. Uh, we have it in the 27.5 right now uh, and it's 27.2.5. This tire is sick. Um, we're going to throw it on one of our bikes um, in the rear uh, for the mud because we somehow always find ourselves in like wet, damp, really muddy riding. Maybe it's because we just like subconsciously hate braiding and to wash our bikes. Michelin does a great tire uh, and they are, you've probably heard of them. They have kind of like that Marshmallow Man. Uh, they do like a really nice uh, car tire um, and they're getting into the mountain biking game. They make some sick stuff. We did have some Wild Enduros, which is going to be their most popular tire. And when I say we did, guess what guys, we're out of stock. So <laughs> just uh, with a lot of stuff. But we still have uh, some of their other stuff. We've got some more cross country style. We've got the forces, um, which are going to be kind of uh, going to be a fast rolling, more for like a trail bike. Uh, and then we've got some wild AMs, which are going to be kind of like a wider, faster rolling, but still not as crazy as uh, the wild enduro, uh, but not as light as the forces. Let me walk around the shop, make sure I didn't forget anything. <laughs> TV. We don't have it on right now. But we will always be playing some kind of crazy stuff. Mostly it's Red Bull Rampage and we'll get people that just sit here and stare at it for hours. Yeah guys, uh, I guess that's all. I'll walk Michaela out since she's been recording. I'll throw in this. Uh, what's coming up in the shop uh, in the start of 2021. We're gonna start getting our Yetis back in stock. We've got two right now. That's not enough for us. We always have a lot. Stay tuned for that. I know I've got some 115s, I've got some ARCs, I've got some 130s, and I've got some more 140s coming in. I'm gonna have a bunch more transitions rolling in. I'm gonna have the Spur. It's gonna be probably the hottest bike of 2021. <laughs> Definitely wanna check that bike out. We'll have the demo. I'll have some more Scouts, and I'll have some more Sentinels. Uh, and then as far as Revel, we just picked them up. Revel's a sick, sick brand. Check them out. The CBF link uh, or suspension is super awesome. And we'll have the Rangers, the Rascals, and the Rail. Uh, yeah, we'll have some rails in 2021. We're gonna have some sick YouTube videos out. We're gonna have stuff with like reviews, product reviews, 
POV riding, some other stuff that I can't talk about yet that's gonna be like, no way, they're doing that? I'm gonna be like, yeah, we're doing that because that's what we do. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks for uh, taking the shop tour with us. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for what we've got coming up next. It should be pretty sick. Thanks, guys.